Hello, it's Caroline at For the Love of Crochet, and today is all about the amigurumi. I know I've been dabbling in a couple of other crafts, but today it's For the Love of Crochet in the real because I've made quite a few amigurumi patterns, but if you want to stick around till the end, I do have some clearance patterns that I found at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. And I will just share them at the end because they are sewing patterns. So let's get started. For the first three amigurumi patterns, I was gifted this lovely book called Flower Babies. And um, this was sent to me by a subscriber viewer. And I was thrilled to get it. So I got really excited because they are simple and easy patterns. And really cute to fit in those little tiny little um, pots that you can get like at the dollar store as long as we have a dollar store so the first one I made was this cutie <laughs> she's so darling now with this one I tried to give her a little embroidered eye and I just love the way that this came out. It's so darling. Now I just used some scrap four weight yarns. So this is a four weight yarn worked up and it fits in the palm of my hand. It's very small. Now, I didn't have time to go get any little pots, but I do have these little yogurt jars that are from Ui, Ui yogurt jars. And I just stuck them in there just to give you, yeah. I didn't get to like get, I would probably put some little colored rocks in there or something, but I just wanted to show you that this is how they fit in this little jar. So that is the first one I made. The second one I made did not come out so hot. Um, so with this one, I used embroidered eyes and embroidered face. And the second one, I wanted to try something that was using safety eyes to see if I liked it more and to position them the way that they said to position them. Let's take a look. <laughs> and see, I think the eyes are very far apart. Now, the backs on these did not work out so well. Really not liking the Amazon eyes for this thing, for these little cuties. I did try to give her a little nose and some blush just to cuten her up. Uh, so, but since I was making two yellow ones, I needed to change it up. So I needed to make something that was a little different. So she's super cute, but I, the sunflower is my absolute favorite. The third one, uh, since I like the sunflower so much, this one is very similar. <laughs> oh, her hair went up. <laughs> her petals. Here is this little cutie. I don't remember the name. I want to say it was a gardenia. Okay, this is a gerbera. <laughs> I am not familiar with that one. And you can tell that the petals want to curl. So I don't know how to remedy that other than to spray it with some starch. So this is a gerbera. So cute. Now this one, I went with a different embroidered eye, just playing around, wanted to give her some green eyes and some lashes. And she has eyebrows and lips and blush. <laughs> I had a little fun with this one. And there's two leaf designs in there. So there's a skinny leaf and a fat leaf. This is so cute. So I made the sunflower, the daffodil, and a gerbera. Oh, I don't like the position of the safety eyes, but they said to position them so many stitches apart and I followed the directions. Didn't care for that one, but I do like the embroidered eyes because you can kind of just place them wherever you see fit. So there they are. Cute and a little window seal with some little colored rocks maybe at the bottom. I stuck some little bonbon yarns in there, those little tiny ones. Never know what to do with those. Now this next pattern comes from the 
mix and match challenge that my friend Craftably Ever After Cassandra is hosting. I believe it started, it's, it's, it ends, I believe, May, the end of May. I think it ends at the end of May. So this next Amigurumi is part of a mix and match challenge that my friend Craftably Ever After is hosting, where you take an Amigurumi pattern and our, the idea was to mimic this or to create this little cat here with her little blue overalls and little mushroom hat and notice the little features on her face and the colors that are on this cat. Well, you were supposed to basically take a pattern and combine them, mix and match, so that you can create your own amigurumi or try to recreate something in your own unique special way. Or maybe if you don't like the legs on some other pattern, you switch them out for a leg that you do like. So this challenge was to help crocheters um, step outside of their comfort zone and just instead of following a pattern to the T to to create something uh, using what you have or free patterns or you know just trying to get you out of your comfort zone so here we go <laughs> I understood the assignment <laughs> so I'm gonna post the picture here and the picture here and yeah, I think I understood the assignment, except for the tail. So the tail on the pattern that I did, I did not want it to be like a third leg, which is in the picture. I wanted it to be smaller, although a cat's tail is quite long. So, but yes, I think I understood the assignment. I think I did pretty good. Now to do these little circles, I did not want to crochet them. So what I did is I found these little like hearts at the Dollar Tree and they have stickers on the back of them. And what I did is I took two of these little white hearts. They're kind of that, um, I don't know. What are they? I always forget those flannel type sheets that, I forget their name. I know you're probably screaming at me. They're, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, there's a little, there's a little sticker on the back. Anyways, I just cut them first before peeling the sticker off. So I cut them into circles. Um, but what I noticed is in the picture, the circles are very small. And so at first I put this big one and I noticed that they were really small in the and the drawing. So then I started making them a little smaller. Uh, so there's his tail. And uh, yeah, I embroidered the eyes and the pink little nose and I tried to give him some shaping and the overalls and everything. This all came from one book. So I didn't really succeed in um, doing the mix and match challenge other than making this hat. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy with the way that this little guy came out. Now, when I showed my daughter, she was ecstatic, super ecstatic over this cat. Like she absolutely loved it. Now she sees all the stuff that I make all of the time. But when I showed her uh, what I made, she went all high pitched tone. <laughs> yeah, she loved it. Um, and she wants to name it. And I forgot what the name she picked. So, do you have a name for this little cat? <laughs> so, it's a cat in a mushroom hat. <laughs> Should write a book about him. The cat in the hat. Cat in a mushroom hat. Um, so, yes, this all came from one book. Now, I've made this, this, I've made something from here. I actually tabbed quite a few because I really like this book. Um... I have made the bunny, oh my gosh, and he was so awesome. I made this bunny. If I have a picture, I'll throw it up, but um, 
Yeah, I loved him. I didn't give him this little thing. Loved making him. These patterns are awesome, but they are in UK terms. I'm sure there's a transition chart in here, but it's really easy because you know Ami Groomies worked in single crochet. So this was the basic cat pattern here, and they used uh, safety eyes. You, they have them in two different colors, like if you want to change up the colors. So they're giving you ideas here, so you get to see them nude. But these clothes can mix and match on any of these patterns. So they have a whole wardrobe, a wardrobe section for you to put on any one of these animals. And the total number of animals in here, this is so cute. So there's a picture of quite a few of the animals all dressed up in clothes. We have a fox, a cat, a rabbit, a bear. So there's a bear in here. Love this book. And then it has them like each animal in every outfit, I believe. So let's take the bunny here. So it goes from nude to dresses to the um, accessories to the boy version and all his accessories. But again, you can mix and match any of these cute little patterns. Mouse, there's a mouse in here too. So here we have a bunny and a mouse. So I basically just took the overalls pattern and put them on my cat and changed the color. And then for the hat, there's a hat in here that shows the ears. So I just used that. I thought about making the um, slope on the hat to look at, like a more of a mushroom, but I opted to make him my own. <laughs> No, oh, he's so cute. So this is part of the mix and match challenge. Um, I'm sure she's, Cassandra's going to do, actually, I think she's doing like a giveaway for everyone who participates. I'm not sure how, it, I'll link her video and her channel, uh, her introduction, but, and I'll try to list as much information as I can down below. So if you want to join in, you can. So this is part of the mix and match challenge. Now this next pattern is something that I have been wanting to crochet for the longest time. But you know how sometimes you just, you don't, you don't do it, even though you know you want to make it bad. Like you love that pattern. You think it's adorable. I've seen it many times and I'm like, I gotta make that. I want to make that. Well, this is the week that I finally made it because this is the week that I focused on Amigurumi and I just had the yarn available, opportunity arised, and I finally did it. What pattern is it? <laughs> The little donkey. Oh, isn't she adorable? Or he. He is absolutely adorable. I have been wanting to make this ever since I'm seeing him for the first time. This yarn is like a Hobby Lobby yarn. Probably, I'm not sure if it's available still. I believe this yarn is this little furry stuff, which was more of a like five weight. And this was a four weight. Such a cute little donkey. I feel like I want to give him a nose something here. What do you think? That pattern came from this book, which has been a favorite of mine. I've made this bunny. I've made this bear. In fact, he's right back there. <laughs> And the pictures in here are absolutely adorable. So I actually, I kind of mimicked the pattern quite. I did just didn't have that light gray. This was yarn that I saw and I just thought, okay, donkey. <laughs> I think um, Classy Handmade has made this several times and every time she showed it, I so wanted to make it and I never did. Well, 
it finally arrived. I finally made it and I gave him a little bit of an embroidered eye and I just separated the yarn to give it this little wispy look, scraggly look. And I only did one or two back here. But he came out adorable. I really loved it. And it's such an easy pattern. I think his head should point down a little more. He's so cute. So that is all the Amigurumi that I made this week. I'll have those books listed down below, but if you wanna stick around to see what I got from Hobby Lobby is having a clearance on new look sewing patterns. And I've gained a lot of confidence in the sewing department and I started out wanting to sew my own clothes. I'm working on my second PJ bottoms, but I won't show those until I'm done. Now I'm not gonna show you all 25 cause I got 25 because for 99 cents, you can't go wrong. So I picked up 25 patterns and what I found at my Hobby Lobby was they had one rack full of these patterns, just one little rack. And there was so many and so many were not duplicated. So I was able to find quite a range and I found 25 different ones. So I have here five that I will show with you and that's only because I left them out because they were easy to sew ones that I thought I could manage. So this first one is New Look 6125 and there's different ways that you can sew this dress but it is basically going to be a perfect summer dress, spring dress, something comfortable that you can throw on and not fuss with any shorts, riding up your, you know, rubbing legs <laughs> and comfortable. You know, it's baggy, it's comfortable. So I picked this one up and it looks like it has um, a couple of versions with pockets, which is awesome. I love a pattern with pockets. I love outfits with pockets. Now I plan on teaching my daughter to sew and she is quite the designer. She's like she's always drawing designs. And currently she's on a dragon kick. She did used to do paper dolls and make different dresses and hairstyles. Awesome. So I picked this one up because if I get her into sewing, you she can make this beautiful dress with this little ruffle. Looks like just elastic. You can make it into a jumper, a shorts, or a short skirt, a, a shorts dress. Awesome. So this is a tweens easy pattern six four 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 and the sizes are from eight to sixteen i'm sorry ages eight through sixteen uh so yeah i got that one for her because i know she's gonna pick something radical <laughs> the next one i got is new look six five four four this is just a basic skirt but it also has some lovely uh, comfortable pants so in order to build my confidence I need simple patterns and some of these just have darts and elastic no buttons no zippers oh I take that back it does need one zipper and one hook and eye so like the little hook hook and eye those are easy though so that is what I got another skirts pattern now again this could be for my daughter or myself because you just make it smaller. This is a one hour easy pattern, just a simple flowy skirt, a tapered skirt, uh, different size lengths, more like a, a ruffly skirt. What do I want to say? Mm, I don't know. Wider skirt. Maybe I need to say wider. I don't know. I don't know the words. So it's with summer, I want something comfortable. So this one right here, is cool right here. Okay, and I would love to make some more tops. Instead of having to go buy tops to fit right, I'm just wanting to make tops. So I picked this one up. And the one that I like most is this. Um, this is also an easy pattern and it is N6732. And I wanna make this one. It has just a little flutter bottom, a nice little sleeve, cool top, depending on what 
fabrics you use. But it is an easy sew. So here are just five patterns that I picked up. But again, I have 20 more. <laughs> but I'm not going to bore you. Go check out your Hobby Lobby if you would like to get a sewing pattern for 99 cents. Okay, and then also just a little update. Hooking up with books. If you have are reading The Flat Share, I've received a couple of entries already. So just wanting to touch base with you. How is your, how is your reading going along? How is your makes? What are you deciding to make? The main character's name is Tiffy, and she is, I guess, part of a book editor for a crochet book. So it's really cool. There's lots of crochet talk in here and knit talk. I look forward to seeing all your makes and what you think about the book so far. So leave that down in the comments. All right, I shall talk to you again soon. Bye.